dear student good morning now today we will discuss about the torque on a current loop suppose a coil or a rectangular coil shown here that is a b c d is a rectangular coil and this coil is placed in a magnetic field now in this magnetic field when a rectangular coil is placed and the current is flowing through this coil now this current i is shown here which is flowing through this coil this is the direction of current shown here now when the current carrying current loop or current carrying coil is placed in a magnetic field then it rotates due to the magnetic force here is the uniform magnetic field n pole and s pole of the magnet are set up here and in between these two poles a current loop or current carrying coil is placed this is the uniform magnetic field and when this current carrying coil placed in uniform magnetic field then it start to rotate due to the force or due to the magnetic force acting on the sides of this coil here ab is the side whose length is l1 then bc is the another side which is whose length is l2 then cd ab and cd are equal in length therefore we can write here ab is equal to cd is equal to l1 and length of side bc and ad is equal to same therefore we can say the length ad is equal to bc is equal to l2 now to find the direction of force on this coil we can use the right hand rule now how can we apply the right hand rule in this case now this bc and ad these are parallel to each other length of bc and ad are in the direction of magnetic field and this coil is placed in such way that the length ab and cd are perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field the length ab and this length cd are perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field and then bc direction of magnetic field there therefore the force acting on this line bc and line ad will be not a axial on axial line or these are the force uh, acting on this two lines are equal to zero but the force acting on line ab and cd can be find out by using the right hand rule now how to apply the right hand rule right hand rule to find the direction of force now what says the right hand rule now we can say that the fingers that is four fingers middle finger and thumb of right hand are stretched up so that they are perpendicular to each other this four finger then this middle finger and this thumb these are stretched up in such way that they are perpendicular to each other now if this four finger is pointed in the direction of current four finger is pointed in the direction of current and middle finger is pointed
pointed in the direction of magnetic field then the thumb will indicate the direction of force here we will first apply the right hand rule on the side ab to find the direction of force this is the direction of magnetic field this is the n pole this is the s pole that is this is the direction of magnetic field magnetic field lines are coming from this direction and going toward this direction this is the line shown here and this is the direction of magnetic field that is n to s now the current this is the direction of current here the direction of current is b to a direction of current is b to a and this is the direction of magnetic field this is the uniform magnetic field now we have to find the force acting on this line ab how to apply this right hand rule point four finger in the direction of current now we can say this is the direction of current and here the direction of current is this and magnetic field this finger indicates the direction of magnetic field therefore we can show the direction of magnetic field in such way and these are perpendicular to each other now this thumb indicates the direction of force this is the direction of force and which is upward or we can say coming out of the plane of paper here therefore the direction of force is given here this is the perpendicular force to this magnetic field and curve now again we can apply the right hand rule to find the force acting on the line dc this is the direction of magnetic field and this is the direction of current direction of current is d to c now we can here again we can apply the right hand rule this four finger this is the middle finger and this is the thumb this four finger indicates the direction or we can uh, the four finger can be pointed in the direction of current then middle middle finger is pointed in the direction of magnetic field and then remaining thumb will indicates the direction of force this pointed in the direction of current therefore current is in the upper direction here d to c and magnetic field here we can take as this this is the direction of magnetic field the middle finger is pointed in the direction of mid, uh, magnetic field the four finger is pointed in the direction of current direction of current is d to c therefore the four finger is pointed in the direction of current and this thumb is pointed here or uh, uh, this thumb will indicate the direction of force therefore the force acting on line dc is inward direction therefore this is the upward direction this is the inward direction and on this say coil the two side of this coil the force acting on two side of this coil are opposite to each other but the here current at this point and at this point is same and magnetic field is also uniform that is will be same and therefore the magnitude of the force will be equal acting on side ba and acting on side dc the magnitude of force is same but the direction of force is different it is a one of the force is in upward direction and another force is in inward direction when two equal and opposite forces acting on a body and in opposite direction and of equal magnetic and which are not coaxial therefore they forms a couple and here these two forces forms a couple and the torque produces in this coil and the torque is responsible for the rotation of the coil and into this coil uh, torque the coil will rotate how this coil can be rotated here 
Suppose this is the coil. One force is acting in this direction and another force is acting in this direction and therefore this coil will rotate as this type. One force is in this direction. This will push this side inside at this side and another force will be push this side in this direction. Therefore this coil will be rotated as this type. And we can see here how this coil can be uh, rotated. And the line BC and line AD. Line BC and line AD. Here the length of these lines, two lines, are parallel to the magnetic field. These lengths are parallel to magnetic field. Therefore, there will be no force acting on this line. Therefore, this forces acting on AB will F here F1, the force acting on BC, we can say F2, then force acting on C D, we can say that F3 and the force acting on D A will be F4. Here F1 and F3 are equal and opposite in direction. Therefore, these two forces form a couple and which are responsible for the rotation of the coil. But the force that is F2 and the force acting on AD, F4 are not responsible or they are opposite and not they are in a line. Therefore, they cancel to each other and only these two forces are responsible for rotation of the coil. Now, we will uh, discuss about the torque acting on a coil. Okay. Now, we will find the torque acting on the coil. Here, side view of loop A, B, C, D at angle theta is given. The, this is the line BC. This is the side BC. Is shown here. When the two equal and opposite forces acting on a body are which are not collinear, then they forms the couple. Here we can see the couple is formed, and this couple is responsible for the rotation of the coil. Now the coil will uh, rotate. Then we can see the, this uh, view of loop A, B, C, D at angle theta. Then this is the angle theta and this is the direction of magnetic field and this is the length of the coil. This will be this angle between the length of coil and the magnetic field will be 90 minus theta. This is the angle theta. Here we can consider and this will be equal to 90 minus theta. Now we know that the force that is F1 is the force on side AB. This is F1 is the force on side AB. Then F2 is the force on side BC. Then F3 is the force on side CD. And F4 is the force on side AD. Here BC and AD are equal in length. And AB and CD are equal in length. Therefore the force on the line BC and AD can be given by or we can write here the force here this is the F4 the force F2 is equal to F4 and which can be given by the formula that is which are discussed in the last lecture I into current into length into magnetic field that is I into L and length this is the length that is will be L2 therefore I into L2 
into b sin theta is the 90 minus theta the angle between length and magnetic field is 90 minus theta therefore in last lecture we have already discussed this Lorentz force that is force is equal to current into length into magnetic field and sin theta or the magnitude of force is given by this equation therefore you can remove this vector that is r into l 2 b sin theta here l 2 is the length of bc that is line bc and line ad that is line this length bc is equal to this ad is equal to l2 and ab is equal to cd is equal to l1 therefore the force acting on these two lines will be f2 is equal to f4 is equal to i l2 b sin 90 minus theta but these two forces are equal and not along the same line they are, they are sorry the, these two forces are equal and along the same line therefore these two forces cancel to each other and therefore the force now the force F1 is equal to F3 the force acting on line AB and CD is equal to these two AB is equal to CD is equal to L1 therefore force acting on first line F1 is equal to F3 and this can be equation given by the equation of Lorentz force that is I is the current flowing in the coil and L is the length here in this case L1 L1 is the length and then B sin 90 we can say here sin theta that is theta is equal to 90 degree because the length of coil that is AB and CD or coil is placed in such way that AB and CD are perpendicular to the magnetic field here this line these two lines are perpendicular to the magnetic field therefore this theta is equal to 90 degree and we know that the sine 90 is equal to 1 therefore this force will be equal to I into L1 B that is F1 is equal to F3 this F1 is equal to F3 and which is equal to I into L1 into B but the direction of these two forces are opposite to each other this direction of two forces are opposite to each other these two forces are not linear not collinear therefore are not acting on the same line therefore these two forces form a couple and this coil will start to rotate in this direction and therefore we can find out the formula of torque that is the torque is equal to we know that the torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance then the two forces that is F1 and F3 are responsible for the no, torque. torque is yeah. equal to the I into L1B 1 half L2 sin theta plus I L1B 1 half L2 sin theta that is torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance two forces are responsible for the torque that is F1 and F3 therefore this is the magnitude of force F1 and the perpendicular distance from the axis is equal to 1 half L2 sin theta then the magnitude of force F3 that is I into L1B and then perpendicular distance from the axis will be equal to 1 half L2 sin theta and therefore we can write here torque is equal to I into 
L1 then this L2 B sin theta now we can write here the torque is equal to i into l1 into l2 is the area of the coil that is this l1 into l2 is equal to area of the coil therefore torque is equal to i into a into b sin theta that is torque is equal to i into a b sin theta where i is the current a is the area of the coil and b is the magnetic field and then the theta is the angle therefore we know that since this a is equal to l1 into l2 this length this l1 into l2 that is the area of the coil or we can say right here area enclosed by coil therefore if the theta is equal to 90 then sin 90 is equal to 1 then the torque will be maximum that is i into a into b if there are number of terms for the coil this is the equation for the one term of the coil here one term is shown only one term is shown but here are the number of terms as in like this there are n number of terms then we can write here for n number of terms the torque dash will be equal to n into tau therefore n into i into a into b this is the required equation for the torque on a current loop when this coil is placed in a magnetic field or in a uniform field magnetic field in such way that the line ab and line cd are perpendicular to the magnetic field these line are perpendicular to the magnetic field therefore here we take the theta is equal to 90 degree and therefore for n number of terms tau is equal to n tau dash is equal to n into tau and therefore the tau dash is equal to n i a b where n is the number of terms number of terms of coil then i current in the coil a is the area of coil and b is the magnetic field okay this is the required equation of torque thank you